Hello, tankers! Do you remember that at the end of November, we revealed the existence of a secret laboratory? Today, you can find those infected, the zombies, on the battlefields. However, they are also immune to confront them. It is time for you to become a part of this event. To start your journey, you will need to get the special access offer. This way, you will join one of the factions. Zombies want to take over the world of Tanky, and the task of the immunes is to stop their plans. The special offer grants you access to a set of 25 special missions. Complete them and obtain test tubes, the special event currency. Missions are distributed over the 25 days of the event, and you will get one new task every day. All the test tubes you earn are counted in favor of your faction, and you can follow the progress on the event's website. Moreover, each participant gets a set of personal tasks. To complete a task, you need to have a certain number of test tubes. And at the end of the event, we will check the individual progress of each tanker and send valuable rewards for the completed tasks. You can see how many tasks you've completed on the special website. There's also intel of the competition's progress and the top 5 players of each faction. You will automatically join one of the teams after purchasing the special offer, but we have still left you an option to change sides. To do so, you will have to purchase the special Defector offer. The only thing left is to announce the prize. The team that has the most test tubes at the end of the event, drumroll, receives the Freeze Legacy skin. After the end of the event, on January 9th, we will announce the victor between the zombies and the mutes and send your personal progress rewards. Tankers, we have an ultra addition to your plans for this weekend. Themed billboards, a festive skin for cargo drones, and a special paint for your tank. Yes, ultra weekends are back. Jump into our festival of activities, get twice the experience and crystals from battles, and try your luck to catch rare mega goals. Moreover, for your activity you can get rewards. We've added 8 special missions, and you can get an ultra container for completing any of them, as well as 7 more ultra containers and 3 units of the nuclear energy supply for completing the super mission. Wanna get even more ultra containers? Check out the shop showcase, as we will add two special offers containing them. This time, the list of possible drops also includes the new Armor Piercing Shells Augment for Scorpion. This new augment applies the Armor Piercing status effect on critical hits and works both for arcade and salvo shots. For those who haven't managed to get the novelty yet, there's a special mode where you don't need to worry about your armor. In Railgun Masters, you can only use Hornet and Railgun. The mode is available on the following maps. Sandbox Remastered, Zone and Drift. All connoisseurs of classics are invited to the party. All equipment is automatically upgraded to the maximum level and supplies are disabled. As always, Friday brings new updates to the game. This time, we added the feature most of you already know from the mobile version of the game. Let's take a look at how it works there. So the feature is called Supply Auto Activation. When you are on a battlefield, supplies are activated automatically. When you respawn, boosted damage, boosted armor and speed boosts are on. Supplies are enabled in this order and there's no option to change it. The only option is to disable this feature completely in the settings. Don't worry, in the PC version of the game, it doesn't work this way. The main difference is that we won't activate your supplies without your request, and they will only be consumed when needed. You can choose which supply to activate next. Just press the button, and it will be activated for you automatically as soon as the cooldown is over. Let's take a look at this video demonstrating how it works. Your task is to make it to the point and capture it. You activate speed boost, boosted armor and boosted damage. After that, you can then add any supply to the queue, so it'll be activated next. Once the cooldown is over, it will be enabled. 
Changed your mind? Not a problem. Press the button again and remove the supply from the queue, or maybe even choose another one. Supply Auto Activation is a multi-purpose feature that lets you focus more on your opponents and less on cooldown timers. Also, Auto Activation will help you stick to a certain strategy in battle and build your game plan for a slightly longer period. Simple, clear and very convenient. Why didn't we add this feature earlier? Press the like button if you've been waiting for this to be added to the game or if you like it. The Winter Esports season is about to finish with the winner being determined this Sunday. Judging by the number of tank wins in the fund, thousands of fans are watching the tournament and rooting for their favorite teams. We cannot believe that the fund has already reached the 50 million tank wins mark. We are shocked. Shocked in a good way. Never before has the tanky fund reached even half of this amount. To join live streams of the tournament, follow our Twitch channels. We always go live at 5 p.m. UTC. For viewers of the final matches, we have prepared some cool bonuses. This Saturday and Sunday, Twitch drops give you not one, but three Ultra Containers. Today, at 5 p.m. UTC, the second semifinals match will take place, and we will find out the name of the team that will proceed to the Grand Finals, as well as the name of the other team that will have to fight for third place. We invite you all to root for your favorite teams. They need your support, especially when each match affects how much money they will get. On Saturday, we will have the third place match, and on Sunday, the main fight of the season will take place. Let us remind you that these matches will determine the distribution of the cash prize fund, as well as unique in-game items. As for the Tanky Fund giveaway, it will take place on December 28th. We are already preparing for a live stream, where we will randomly choose players who will get the tank ones. All participants have a chance to win. Let us remind you that we will share 10% of the fund among the top 8 teams of the tournament and will divide the remaining 90% in equal parts among the winners of the giveaway. Nobody knows how many tank coins it will be. Players can still join the event and add even more to the fund. The giveaway promises to be interesting. What are the developers' plans on updating the game's interface? And which augment did our YouTuber find surprisingly amazing? Let's see what happened on YouTube this week. The updated game interface has already arrived in the game. Is that all what the developers have prepared for tankers? Definitely not. Icons, dozens of new icons for augments, skins and protection modules, as well as the updated battle stats table. See it all in the new Winter's video from the test server. You all know him for his series of videos about the best equipment combinations. How come an augment surprise Taspens? Is it really worth it? And what augment is it? Find out in his new video. Oh my gosh, everyone has protection. What the heck? Got an unlu unlucky battle. This is the problem with everyone using thunder right now, is everyone has protection against thunder. Do teammates run? What the heck, teammates? Get out of the way! Teammates! Ooh, nice, 2,000 damage, that's nice. There we go, 1,500 damage. Dude, this augment is actually nice. Like, I'd probably use vacuum over this, but it's definitely a nice pick if I want to use a good augment. Last time, you had to guess which hull would stay on its tracks after being hit by a shot from a railgun with the round destabilization augment. The correct answer is C. Congratulations to the winners! And here is the next question. That's all for this week. Did you know that if you press the thumbs up button, your accuracy increases and you have better luck at catching a mega goal? 
If not, try it yourself. See you next Friday. Bye.